Speaking of that, right, I'm happy you brought that up. Kirk Burroughs, I did an interview with him some months ago. And he told a story about Wendy Williams. She got fired from Hot 97 because she had a picture of Puffy. And she was saying on air that she was going to reveal the picture. Man, it's been one of them motherfucking nights. Wow. I should have took some pictures before. Nice job. It's the end of the night and it was... But uh, we come from a very homosexual era of hip hop as well. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time. Her name was Wendy Williams. And uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. If you're like most people, the phrase say it like you mean it doesn't mean much to you. Wendy Williams, on the other hand, takes it to a whole new level. The former talk show host has made a name for herself with her outspoken views, and she's back in the news for being just as bold as ever. But this time her revelations will shock you more than ever. Recently, she discussed the intersection of hip hop and homosexuality in an interview, bringing Diddy's name up in the process. I know you know where this is heading, but bear with me and I'll show you something that will blow your mind. The more successful I got and he got and we believed in each other, the more of a jerk he became. Recent events that have gone viral online suggest that our favorite TV personality is in possession of a photo of two nude men, with one of them tugging down the underwear of the other. The speculation that one of these individuals is actually Diddy is intriguing. It's reasonable to give serious consideration to such charges. Wendy Williams is known for telling it like it is and having good evidence to back up her statements. And this is where Diddy's former bodyguard comes in. Here's the lowdown on it. Reportedly, Jaguar Wright is revealing controversies involving prominent musicians like Diddy and Alicia Keys. The Philadelphian doesn't back down from his daily pursuit of new artists, even when he's received criticism for doing so. Most people choose to remain silent, however, it seems that Diddy's former security, Gene Deal, is on Wright's side in this case. Although Wright made multiple accusations, Deal responded to most of them and provided proof to support some of them. To quote him, people always sending me stuff, man. They sent me the stuff on Jaguar Wright, I salute you, goddess, a lot of stuff you talking is real. In addition, Deal elaborated on the rumors about Diddy's sexuality by describing an incident from years ago at a Philadelphia club, where he witnessed Puff advising R&B musician Music Soulchild to take off his turban. Deal dismissed Wright's accusations that he was paid to keep silent, praising her efforts before turning his focus back to the current crisis. Consider the following Wright has been making charges that his previous boss did some shady things behind his back, and it's important to address those. In his words, baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Gene off. Ain't nobody ran Big Gene off. It's not happening. Never ran and never will. Never have. From nobody or no man. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So, I've heard you say that twice. Somebody sent that to me twice, so I'm just letting you know, baby girl. I don't know you personally. Do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. It ain't Big Jim. You might be speaking about somebody else. You're not speaking about Big Jim. And um, he has a lot of experiences with Mary, Faith, the whole bad boy team, that whole era back then. All right? So drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. On my uh, YouTube, I got my number right there. People call me. 201-969-969. Uh, six one six eight. <laughs> Shit, that's that's my number I got for the people who want to talk to Big Gene. Not at all. Never running. Never have. None of these clowns out here. You understand what I'm saying, Mom? So I really appreciate what you do. It's a sad day, you know, because people got mad at me when I told people that. I was in Justin's with Mary and we was talking about life shit and how she was in the industry and everything like that. And she said, yo. Deal defended himself against the allegations, perhaps proving rights and Wendy's points. He said that several things he saw while working for his old boss caused him to turn to God and the Bible for comfort. The ex-bodyguard continued by bringing up Mary J. Blige, another musician against whom Jaguar had made some allegations. White claimed that the singer had been hiding her desire for women for years prior to the Diddy affair, and she even challenged her to a versus duel. Wright was unfazed by Summer Walker's criticism and instead went after other celebrities. She posted a challenge to the queen of hip-hop soul, Mary J. Blige, on Instagram, claiming that Blige had been hiding her sexuality for years. 
Albright kept going even when she was met with resistance. About Mary, Jaguar said, I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent mix engineer and walk all the way through a mix. I can do those things, Mary, can you? What can you do, Mary, other than playing dress up and eating snatch in dark places, hoping nobody finds out? And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary. In another video, Gene Deal escalated the debate over Jaguar Wright's charges against Diddy. He went into Diddy's alleged homosexuality and referred to his sexually flexible status constantly. Additionally, Deal stated that Diddy had taken exhibit to a gay bar and even suggested that it was his specific duty to observe the bad boy CEO socializing with other males. These statements appear to substantiate Wright's charges against Diddy. During the interview, Gene mentioned, I know that for a fact because I was right there. He said, Yo, Gene, watch the door that doesn't let nobody come through. I said, I'll watch the door, and if I watch the door, he and a man ran out naked, and I said that ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. I'm telling you what I saw. While Jennifer was upstairs, and he said, Yo, Gene, watch the door, don't let nobody come through here. And I said, I'll watch the door. If I watch the door, and him and a man ran out naked, and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. Jean has added to the growing pile of claims against music mogul Diddy by giving a stunning interview in which he made alarming allegations against him. In the early 2000s seconds, while working for him, Jean claims that he took Diddy to an exotic bookstore, where the mogul allegedly bought a bag of sex toys for his children. Many people are worried because the transaction reportedly included midlugs. Next, Jean says that Diddy told him he was going to visit Ja Rule at his house after a concert he was performing at in North Carolina and that he brought the toys with him. Jean was taken aback by Diddy's plan and tried to dissuade him from paying an unexpected visit, but Diddy was determined. Social media has been afire with individuals expressing their disbelief at these reports. But Jean isn't the only one who has interesting tales to tell. Wendy has expressed her displeasure with the pervasive homophobia in the hip-hop community. That's what she told me, I'm not down with any of that. It wouldn't be my band. To be very clear, there were lots of homosexuals in the 1980s too. What's worse? Hip-hop wearing skirts or hip-hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood and that, you know, and denial of something that you shouldn't have to deny. There were many situations back in the day in my career, and it's all coming full circle now. All this talk about Diddy's sexual preferences raises the obvious question, does he like men? His sexuality has been the subject of speculation for years, although he has been linked to a number of high-profile women, including the late Kim Porter. Several children, including Christian Combs, who is now seeking a career in the entertainment world, have resulted from these connections. Even though Diddy has said many times that he isn't gay, his actions throughout the years have sent the exact opposite impression. One recent music video features a rapper whose lyrics read, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way? Like, I really want to be loved. Divided by but that I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. Even though hip-hop has brought about many positive changes, the genre's pervasive homophobia has damaged American society. Because of the homophobia inherent in the genre, it is challenging for even a high-profile figure like Diddy to publicly declare his sexual orientation. Critics argue that anti-gay slurs are now commonplace in rap because even enlightened rappers like J. Cole use them. It's possible that things could alter in the future, though. Okay, that's it for now, but please hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Goodbye.